Uh, David Burkett. I'm from the University of Dubuque, and I'm an assistant professor in the business and accounting department. We use foundation undergraduate. I use three sections uh, a year, and then I use four sections of capstone in graduate school a year. As we all know, millennials um, aren't the biggest fans of reading textbooks, um, but today we do have technology that allows them to have a great learning experience without having to read a textbook necessarily, and I think the simulation really helps students learn in that respect. The learning process is helped so much by the students being able to see things rather than read things. And what happens in Capstone and Foundation is that the students can learn without knowing that they're actually going through the process of learning. They, they think it's fun, it's a game, but they're actually absorbing a lot of information. Um, for example, cash flow and working capital. To understand that concept out of a textbook is, is not easy. To understand it when you run out of cash and you go bankrupt in a game you're playing, it's, it's a great lesson. The customer support's been great and um, never had anything that I couldn't get done when I wanted to. I've looked at some of the other simulations on the market and I continue to look at some of the other simulations on the market, but I don't think they, they challenge the student as much as CAPS and simulations do. And I don't think they offer real insights into how companies are put together, how the financing is put together, how the different functional parts of the businesses interact to make better decisions in a company um, the way the CAPS and simulations do. I assign students into teams, and I usually assign them to try and have some balance. But if I have a lot of students who aren't working hard, um, I tend to put them in, in the team together so they can't free ride on one of the other teams. Well, a couple of years ago I did this, and just to show there's no relationship between um, knowledge and um, acumen, this one student on my um, dog team, he picked it up and loved it. And he dragged that team all the way to first place on the simulation because he had acumen. He didn't necessarily have knowledge that you gain from textbooks and, and things like that, but he really made good business decisions. I've had several students who were not necessarily great students, but they really enjoyed the simulation. And they talked about how it was the most fun class they had in, this, in their time at school, which is kind of, it's a big compliment, you know, when you can appeal to the students who really aren't the typical, you know, uh, grade A students.